Welcome to EPI's UltraBlack 400 demonstration. First step in the UltraBlack 400 um, process is cleaning the part. EPI has many different cleaners. The cleaner I have here is our eClean 140AD, which is used at 10% by volume, 130, 140 degrees, 3 to 10 minutes. This removes all the oils and soils and, and fingerprints off your parts. Without a clean part, you cannot get a good blackened part. This part's been in here already for five minutes. And the next step after cleaning is you go through a cold water rinse. So next you go through a cold water rinse for about 30 to 60 seconds. And the cold water rinse will rinse off all the alkaline cleaner. If to see if the parts are clean, you look for a water break free rinse. Um, you don't look for, there should be no water beads on the parts and it should look like a clean sheet of uh, metal. Next, we're going to go into the Ultra Black 400, which you can see is 5 and 3 quarters pounds per gallon, 285 degrees boiling at 10 to 20 minutes. One of the things you got to be careful about the Black 400 is it's dangerous high temperature and high cost. So we're going to put the Ultra Black part in the Ultra Black 400 now. We, after rinsing, you go into the Ultra Black 400. For more difficult to blacken parts, we use 50% hydrochloric acid, and that's used 5 to 10 minutes. Ultra Black 400 produces a deep, rich black color faster than other hot black oxides. The iron hydroxide sludge that you generate during the blackening process will float during the Ultra Black 400 process. What this means for you is less desludging of your tank, and it'll actually save you money on your natural gas costs because the sludge serves as an insulator. So it's the one two combination. Uh, less sludge, and it'll save you uh, money on your natural gas. One other thing that I, I would also like to point out while you're working with any type of hot black oxide chemistry is when you add water, you must be very, very careful when you add the water. If you add the water too quickly, as you can see here, it starts boiling and becomes very violent. So it's very important that you add the water to the side of the tank very slowly in an, auto, in an automatic control way with the temperature controller device that automatically adds the water so you can prevent the violent eruption.